people in the plains here, which is now Balbogra Diocese, a large majority of them are migrants some three, four generations ago from Chotanagpur. The situation in Chotanagpur was for cultivation, they depended heavily and exclusively on rain god. So they would basically have only one crop a year, which made their living difficult. And the tea industry was growing, so it was quite okay for them to come to work in the tea garden here. Initially they would work for six months and go back for rest of the six months to their original place. But that system eventually stopped. People began to settle down here. They sort of left keeping link with their origin. And maybe present generation, uh, most of us have practically cut off from our roots in uh, Ranchi in Chotanagpur. The tea gardens have not really improved their life. For a long time, it only gave them a kind of a assurance, a kind of a permanent sustenance. Though may not be making a good living, a very handsome earning, at least one can survive. Only now, rather late, they are learning a bitter lesson that the tea gardens are not that permanent. Tea companies are uh, giving less privileges to the workers. Even the basics like the houses they would build for them, they would repair the houses if needed, they would supply regular water, they would supply medicine, there would be good hospitals, all those are things of the past. And even the so-called uh, their uh, wages are not regularly paid. Economically, they are uh, not at all in a best of the lot. Women fare better than men. They have more perseverance, they are more hardworking, and most of the families are heavily depending on the women. Men, the few who are exceptionally good, uh, if they don't get good job around, they are going out, they are migrating uh, for job sake to other parts of India. Human development is, I can say, satisfactory but there is always a room for further improvement. Uh, we have quite a few good schools that the church is running. At the same time, the reality is there are many who cannot make it to these good schools also because of the fact that they are mostly uh, located closer to the town than in the tea gardens. So, good number of workers' children go to other public schools, either run by the tea company or run by government, most of whom do not do very well. There is no regular and proper teaching. And uh, to make it worse, there is a policy in the state uh, of no failure policy. So, no child fails, they are simply promoted up to class 10. The child has no way to know how much he does not know. Our effort has been in the last three years to help some of these poor children. We have opened a few tuition learning centers. We have 13 centers in the diocese and these children from schools in the surrounding area, come to this center for two hours where we have qualified men and women who teach them 
try to cover the portion that has not been covered in the school. They are also given uh, moral education, they are uh, given education on environment, on uh, ecology, on, uh, on and then we have programs like uh, child parliament. They get opportunity to even develop some of their hidden talents. Another reality with regard to education is dropouts are many. They do not complete or if they fail in the first attempt in their uh, metric exam, they do not repeat. Dropouts can be also explained because of uh, economic situation as well as uh, a lack of motivation. Motivational factor is a very, very problematic uh, thing for us. We are still wondering as to how to uh, help both children and their parents to have a motivation of progress. Culture plays some positive role in the sense of keeping them together, that ethnicity, the, the dialect they speak uh, and uh, some of the cultural uh, festivities, celebrations, uh, these uh, work positively in maintaining them together, a sense of belonging uh, is there. Uh, at the same time, it is a kind of a mixed society because of the fact that the laborers are also from elsewhere, not only these, though they are numerous, but they also live together with many other ethnic groups. So there is a lot of interchange, uh, quite a good bit of harmony is there. Yeah, so that way the mutual support in facing the economic reality, the poverty, the hardship, all that is there. I would dare to think we have to seek opportunity here without migrating far away. Uh, while money-wise one may earn better, say in Kerala, uh, but there are many other evil consequences of uh, migrating, many, many. Uh, so I would like to think boldly that uh, we have to seek opportunity here.